Good morning everyone and welcome to another What I Eat In A Day. I just wanna say, and I say this in every video, excuse how I look, especially right now, it is cardio and abs day today and when I do cardio and abs I don't bother washing my face in the morning just because I get so sweaty so I'll have like a nice clean up, freshen up when I get home and get myself ready for the day but it's a little bit of a different one if you've watched my what I eat in a day before sometimes I stay at my boyfriend's house and then I'll come straight to the gym from there and then I won't bother with breakfast well, I do still bother with breakfast, but I'll go to the gym before breakfast. Um, so I have actually just eaten a squares bar on the way because I was so, so hungry this morning. And then I have been cutting down on these, but he very kindly left me one of these on my bedside table this morning. And I do feel like it's needed. I don't have them anywhere near as much anymore. I feel like I have them maybe three times a week as opposed to every single day. Um, but I think I'm going to have this today. I feel quite tired. Yesterday was a busy one for me, like my PT business is slowly growing, I'm so so happy with it. Um, yesterday, it doesn't, even, it doesn't sound busy, I had three clients, I trained myself, um, but with all of my three clients, I don't know what, the, what come over me, but I joined in with all their cardio. I think it's nice sometimes to join in because it's like a little bit of motivation and stuff like that, but I joined in with all of that. Um, and then I did my own pool day. I also did interval sprints for the first time since coming back off of my holiday. And they was a struggle. Um, and then I did a walk of my own. I think I ended up doing like 15,000 steps. So yesterday would have actually have been a good one to film. However, what was that? However, I was just here, there and everywhere. Like literally had five minutes to sit down and get a YouTube video edited. But anyway... Um, I don't think I'm going to take pre-workout today just because I have my energy drink. Probably isn't the best to take both. I did go through a phase of taking both. I don't imagine it's healthy for you. It's not something that I'm going to recommend on my channel. Um, but yeah, I'm just not going to take it. I'm quite close to running out, so I'm going to save it for like leg day this week and stuff like that. And just have my energy drink. Like I said, it is cardio and abs day today. So I'm going to go and attempt 30 minutes on the stairs. Before my holiday, I could do about 45 minutes. But since then, let me tell you, like 20 minutes is a struggle. Um, so we're going to try and build it back up today, which is partly why I do kind of want the pre-workout, but I don't. We're going to save it. We're going to save it. Um, yeah, we're going to do 30 minutes on the stairs, possibly something extra, and then like a 30 minute abs. I've just got you resting. I think I've got really white armpits from deodorant. I've got you resting on my bed headboard for now and please excuse any little bits of mess that you can see in the background basically my task today is like blitz my room so things are a bit everywhere at the moment um but it's actually been a couple of hours i haven't even got my watch on um oh that means my steps aren't gonna be accurate basically i got home from the gym and i felt just a little bit gross i had a really really sweaty session um so i thought i would just jump in the shower when i got back wash my hair and everything that's why i look how i do and my watch is off so oh my steps aren't going to be accurate today yeah that is basically why it's been a couple of hours since i last filmed and it's also been a couple of hours since i last ate and i'm starving now it's actually like what is it it's half two so i'm gonna change i haven't had any lunch basically i've got hair everywhere um i'm gonna change my lunch basically just because the lunch i was gonna have takes a little bit longer to make and i just don't want to faff about because i've still got bits to do um and things like that so i'm gonna go and just make a tuna wrap with 10 grams of cheese always have this and it's just so quick and easy and i love it and i think i might put it in the toasty machine as well just to melt the cheese but for breakfast, I had my Greek yogurt bowl, which was 416 calories, and it was 26.5 grams of protein. I, again, wasn't actually supposed to be having that. So everything that I've planned today has kind of gone out the window. That's what happens sometimes. Sometimes I'll plan everything in my little notebook, put it into my fitness pal, and then obviously I don't live like that. Like things obviously crop up, stuff like that. So sometimes things do get changed, but it's still easier to have everything out on paper or in the app. And then it's easy to see what I can and can't change really. I will check back in with you after I've had my lunch. I haven't had my protein shake yet, which I'll probably do while I'm cleaning my room. I am having a Coke Zero at the moment. 
And yeah, I need to go and eat. So I was just coming on here to update you about my lunch, but then I actually had a very exciting delivery. So I thought I would quickly update you about my lunch, show you what I got, and then I will go and make dinner. Please, I say this in every video, just don't mind how I'm looking. I'm in my ugly girl era, I've still got wet hair, my eyebrows need doing. I feel like that's all I do is moan about how I look, but anyway. So for dinner, I ended up having a tuna bagel. Um, I was going to have a wrap, but I didn't have as many calories left as I thought once I swapped everything over. Um, so, oh, that was the other thing. So I was supposed to have a certain type of noodles with my dinner. And I just had programmed them in without actually checking what we had. And then when I went to actually program in what I had, there was quite a bit more. So that's for dinner tonight. So my lunch was 350, oh my god I can't speak, my lunch was 351 calories and it was 31 grams of protein. Um, so I'm just about to go and make dinner now, I had a fibre one bar for a snack as well and I still haven't had my protein shake and I haven't snacked on anything else. But, let's move on to the exciting stuff. So I have been working with Protein World now for... Nearly a year, I want to say. I feel like it was last... What was it? Part of me wants to say it was like last October, November, but I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I've been working with them for a while now. I do actually have a discount code. I'll put it on the screen and I'll also link it down below. It will get you 40% off any items that aren't like a subscribed thing. So the first thing I got is their Slender Porridge. If you watch my What I Eat In A Day videos you'll know that this is what I kind of live off, especially in the winter time. I haven't been having it as much recently just, just because I've been having my Greek yogurt bowl, which I do actually have protein in from Protein World. I have still had it a couple of times through the summer and I like to mix it with a little bit of Nutella and then some strawberries, raspberries or blueberries, just whatever we have in. Um, this is the double chocolate flavour and I think before I just had normal chocolate. I'm not actually sure. I definitely had the double chocolate one the time before this. But I think before that, there might have just been like a single chocolate flavour. I'm not sure. It definitely tastes different um, than what it first did when I first had it. This is such a staple for me. And I thought I would get some. Just because, like I said, I do still have it through the summer as well. But so I'm stocked up, ready for the colder months. Even though I don't want to be thinking about that yet. And we do still have a while. It is something like, I woke up the other morning and I had some. Because I still have like a tiny bit left in the bag that I had previously. Um, and I woke up the other morning and it was a bit rainy. And I was like, you know what? Let me have some porridge. So I have some of that. The next thing I have is their Slender Pancakes. Now I've had pancakes from them before. Um, I don't know whether they've just changed their packaging or this is a different type. But I have had a pancake mix from them before. And I don't usually like protein pancakes. But when I had that I honestly lived off of it. So I really wanted to make sure that I got some stocked up. Just because I feel like that is a nice little breakfast to have in the summer as well. And I'm kind of now going between my yogurt bowl and my bagel. So I just wanted something else to throw in the mix as well. But everything that I've got from Protein World today I will also link down below as well. So if you want to go and have a look, use my code. Then I'll leave it down there so you can do that. And then the last thing I got, I did not expect the packaging to be this big but i just got some granola like i say i've been having my greek yogurt bowl quite a bit and i also top it off with granola um so when i saw that protein world did granola i thought let me grab that this is the chocolate flavor and i have such a sweet tooth these days so this is going to be perfect and yeah that is everything that protein world kindly sent me i just want to say thank you to them for sending everything to me and i'll make sure that i link my code down below so we've had a bit of a change of plan for dinner. We're going to eat together tonight, which we never usually do. Um, but basically, is that can't come out. So we've come to Sainsbury's. I think we know what we're going to make. We're going to make chicken bacon and sweet corn pasta. Um, so we've come to Sainsbury's now to get some ingredients. And then I will show you what I make. But basically everything I've eaten today has not been what I plan to eat. But sometimes that is what happens. Like I say, I program things in, but things do change. So yeah. Yeah? Mm. Uh, 
Yeah, but it's really sweet. Do you think? Mm. Then you do not want to try a Tyson Fury one then. Well, that's really sweet. Okay. Let me try and push this back a little bit. Do you want to come in? It's okay. So we've just cut up. I never film my cooking. We've just cut up 100 boil grams. Boil the water and then bring it down, isn't it? Just boil the water. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.